welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Natalie Tversky here with the latest news from Israel. A Tel Aviv resident says he has been threatened with a lawsuit by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu after sharing a blog post disparaging of the Israeli leader. Yoav Salem, 56, says that he had been contacted by Netanyahu's family lawyer, Yossi Cohen, after he shared a blog post claiming that the son, Yair, had served as an illicit courier for his family, depositing millions of dollars in offshore tax shelters. In the letter dated November 15th, Cohen accused Salem of serious and severe slander and that his post is a direct continuation of a series of vile, despicable, and utterly false posts that Salem has consistently publicized on his Facebook page. Salem said Cohen accused him of breaking libel laws by writing such posts and threatened him with legal action if he did not remove the offending posts and apologize within a matter of days. The blog post in question was shared by Salem on August 30th and has garnered over 400 shares and 400 likes as of Tuesday afternoon. The Tamar Regional Council inaugurated the Dead Sea Research Center on Tuesday, the first project of a new initiative aimed at bringing 20,000 jobs, a new promenade, and a research institute to the Dead Sea. The research center, situated at the foot of Masada, will be open to scientists from all over the world for studying the unusually stressful environmental conditions in the Dead Sea area. It will enable research in a range of fields including environmental study, microbiology, zoology, nutrition, and geology. Under construction is a culinary and spa development, a health center, and a new Dead Sea Mall that will provide an additional 15,000 square meters of commercial space. The Dead Sea receives around 2 million tourists a year, meaning that two-thirds of the tourists who visit Israel make their way to the salty, barren landscape to see the lowest place on Earth. Rabbi Eliezer Berland, a leader of the Breslov Hasidic community, was sentenced to 18 months in prison on Tuesday for a number of sexual assaults, following a plea bargain reached between the court and his defense team. Berland expressed regret for his actions and requested forgiveness from his victims. The rabbi had fled Israel after being accused in 2012 of sexually assaulting several female followers, but was apprehended by South African authorities and extradited to Israel in July. While he previously denied the charges against him, on Tuesday he acknowledged his action and expressed his remorse. As part of the plea bargain, Berland will be sentenced to 18 months in prison, but will be credited with time served since he was taken into custody in July. He said that for the things he did, he would have been stoned or burned to death back in biblical days. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Natalie Tversky, and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.